Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Rider. This is Rich. We're back in the parking lot. I'm gonna bring you another pattern. You know, because you've been practicing your U-turns, your sharp right turns, your cone weave, you got it all dialed in. And I would encourage you to continue to practice because remember, practice brings progress. It's not gonna make you perfect. As long as you think you're perfect, then there's no need to practice. I'm just being real. But practice brings progress. What we have today here is something to put more fun into your practices. And that is the circle cone weave. You know, you've seen a regular cone weave where you dip your bike in and out. This is a circle cone weave, just to bring a little bit more fun into your practices. Pretty easy to set up is a 40 foot circle. So you go out 20 foot radius, make your circle. And you only need, you only need eight markers or cones, tennis balls, whatever you choose to do. This would help you dip that bike a little bit harder, except now you're going in a circle. It's gonna make it a lot fun during your parking lot practice. And it's a lot more fun when you have more than one rider doing it. Of course, I'm out here today by myself, just bringing you this. And if you've seen our last parking lot practice, at the end, we had the circle weave in it. Didn't get a chance to explain what it was about because camera was acting crazy and cake was recording as we was on the move. So we didn't get a chance to show you what the circle weave is about. So I'm gonna show you this today. Now, you only need eight cones, like I said before. Set it out at 40 feet. If you want to go faster, set it out wider. If you want to go slower, set it closer. Now you got to remember, this is slow skilled maneuvers. Every time we introduce this, most people go too fast and they miss those cones and they realize they have to dip a little deeper. Now I'm in riding this, nothing changed. Always stay in a friction zone. Always have that rear brake covered and using a rear brake to control your speed as long with your throttle. So you can have throttle and clutch control, rear brake, and a number one rule in motorcycle. You know what it is, right? Look where you want to go. You want to ride in one direction, ride in the opposite direction. It's also good for learning your bike lean angle if you choose to use a night cone and use it in the center as a reference point. That's it. So I'm going to jump on the bike. I got to gear it up. This is what I do all the gear, all the time. And I'm gonna just show you spider webs. Show you in one direction, and then go back and do it in the other direction. And it's great when you have more than one rider, not at the same time, because obviously some people are gonna be faster, some are gonna be slower. But then you can make it a competition. Time each other. Set up a gate, come in, time each other. I don't have a gate set up on this, but it's a very, very fun pattern. So let me get geared up and we're gonna get this thing rolling. Okay, now that I'm all geared up, I actually changed the can camera angle so you can see the entire circle. And what I'm gonna do is show you how I do it. Normally I take the inside, ride in a circle, then I take the outside, ride the circle, and then go through the cone. Like I said, you can set it up with a competition, a little fun, have somebody there and just kind of do it with you. Okay, so first, I'm just going to the left. And everything you do to the left, you want to do it to the right. First, I take the inside and I start the circle. You know, using counterbalance, making my circle still going slow, steady throttle, right in the friction zone, get a little tighter. And you can actually get tight circles here and learn your bike lean angles. You start scraping, then that's the first you want to lean my, my bike. Now, the next thing I do is go on the outside. Obviously, on the outside, you can go a little faster because now you're going wider than 40 feet you're doing about 50 feet you can go a little faster but since this is about slow skill maneuvers let's get this thing working so now here's where the challenge come in the first one is always easy then you got to whip the bike out lean a little harder get around the next cone whip it out back in whip it out lean hard get back in and just do a circle going around the cone now mind you you're not staring at the cone, just like the regular cone where you're not staring, you're looking far ahead as you can. Or, or if you don't want to look that far, look down at the cone that's one in front of you or two in front of you. Now with that, okay, let me go down and try to my right. I'm not gonna go around the inside or outside. I just go around going to the right. Dip, hard dip, out, hard dip, looking ahead, out, hard dip, out, hard dip, look at where I want to go. Yeah, baby. And when you're doing this, set a timer with one of your friends. 
Okay, let me go on the inside anyway. Go to the right, looking behind me. Steady throttle, right in the friction zone. Counterbalance. And that is it. So, just wanted to bring you something different so you can have a little bit more fun in your parking lot practice. Like I say, all you need is eight markers, nine if you use the center one as a point of reference, and just kind of change things up. Go out there, set this up. It's easy peasy. Bring a friend. Start a competition. Your skills are going to remain at a higher level and not diminish. So, that's all I have for today. Make sure you put some comments below of what you think about this, how easy it is to set up, how fun it can be. It doesn't take all day to do it. But if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace! I'm going to get some more.